Yo, what's up everybody, Jai here, and welcome to my first ever Call of Duty Ghost Live commentary. And also, with it being my first commentary, it's also going to be my first, uh, first episode of my new series I'm going to do called Clips for Subs. And hopefully, hopefully, you guys are going to enjoy that. Um, alright, this map is, this map's kind of big, it's just, eh. But this is my first game on as well, so I'm probably not going to do that great. But, on um, Call of Duty Ghost, I have... One game I'll be on next game. It's just yeah, it's just, yeah. But uh, anyways, guys, uh, close for some subs is a uh, new series I'm gonna do where I'm gonna do a live commentary, and I'm not allowed to do a retake of it. I will say if I do bad or something like that, I'm not allowed to do a retake of it. Have to use that one unless you got like zero and three, zero, zero and thirty. That'd be like a, a good exception for doing it over again. Where just pretty much make it enjoyable for you guys. But if I hit a clip in a live commentary, then I'm gonna do a giveaway. Now, how you win the giveaway is at the end of the video. I'll tell you guys to leave something in the comment section below. Uh, if you leave either the right answer or what I tell you to do, then I'll choose one of you guys. You guys need to win 800 Microsoft point cards or some uh, some gamma sample packs. Uh, it's really up to you guys. I got a lot of gamma right now. I just got it. Got it uh, ordered some about two three weeks ago. And they all just came in today but I'm playing kill confirm right now because really to me kill confirm seems to be the I should go get the tag I'm not going to waste my life for that uh, kill confirm seems to be the only good balance game mode for me and not in the way of it being as you don't die as fast as all of that but more of I'm fucked up more of um, People would seem to be everywhere or uh, in a certain spot. Um, in domination, that's where most people usually hit cloaks and other uh, Call of Duties. That either ground war, and since ground ground war is no longer in uh, in Call of Duty, well, since Call of Duty Ghost came out, then uh, domination used to be the only thing. And now I'm just getting fucked up. Now um, domination just seems where you can't really find anybody. And not, it's not that the maps are bigger in domination. I don't, it seems it's weird because you should be able to have like a, the maps under more control or spawns under con more control in domination, but I can't seem to do that. And I'm sucking. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Holy shit! So it's my first game on. Like I said, I just woke up about 30 minutes ago, and I did this like six times last night. I just couldn't. I was just doing horrible. My voice sounded very tired and depressing. I didn't want to use that because I watched the video. Well, this is a great thing right here. Getting off to a great start right here. But, uh, things are going to get better because this is just an intro to it, you could say. But, uh, so far, bro, I haven't, I haven't even hit a clip in this game. There is a fail on my YouTube channel. Uh, if you guys haven't seen it, it's, uh, I get a rolling five man and then triple collab pops up and of course I get killed because of how dash how fast you die in this game. So it, it kinda sucked. I didn't know it was a triple collab at first, I just thought it was a collateral. It still would have been a, a, a five on screen, but when I went back and watched it it was it was it was uh made me feel bad. You know, I could have had a could have had a good uh, good clip to start off Call of Duty Ghost as well, being the first day Call of Duty Ghost too. But uh, me and my friend was doing a uh, voice crack right there. Me and my friend was doing a, a thing to see if we can hit the first Call of Duty Ghost Club. And that could have been my first, but it wasn't. I would have won. And then he hits a single. Then he gets split, and he gets a quiet collide to another single for the uh, five on screen. That was pretty sick. And he, he also went 36 0 in that same game playing out of KEN track. So Call of Duty Ghost is most definitely going to be his game, and uh, the person that was was uh, Lucky Thirteen guys. If you guys uh, know what Eon is, uh, he's the leader of Eon. Uh, guys, go check him out. Go check Eon out. But uh, even though that kill confirm seems to be the only game mode where you can find more people at, and you guys are probably like uh, probably think I'm lying right now because you can't really find anybody. But it's because of the map size. Like, this map is one of the uh, maps that I would consider a Battlefield 3 size map. Where's that dude shooting at? Mm. These are one of them. These are this is one of the Battlefield size maps. There's more maps like why not? 
it seems to be a pretty big map, but honestly, I, I find a lot of people. I usually get on Whiteout. Like, if you guys don't know what Whiteout is, if you remember, um, before Kai Ghost came out, when a lot of people was uh, uploading Call of Duty Ghost gameplay to um, to YouTube, then they did it on a map called Whiteout whenever they got to play the game early, and people just shoot me from behind. And uh, it's looked like a big map, and it is a very big map, but it also on Kill Confirmed, I see, you seem to find a lot of people in there. And on that game, I usually do good. Where does this dude go? I'm not even gonna mess with him because he's probably. That's bullshit. What's my score? Six and eight. And you think, guys, you guys can see that kill feed is in a, in, is in a different position. Where's this back at? I'm tired of this shit, man. Getting killed from behind. This game is honest. Oh, you die so freaking fast. But I haven't really raged that much in it yet. I'm pretty sure as a game from. If I die again from behind. Looking right there. Look at him right there. Bitch. Shoot at me again. See what happens. But, uh, I haven't really raged any at all this game. And it seems to me when I play by myself or play with, uh, play with chill people that I don't rage at this game. But when I play with people who rage at this game, then it makes me want to rage. I don't know, it's like following a bandwagon and stuff. But that's just, I don't, I really don't know why I do that. But, um, when I play by myself, I don't really rage. At this game a lot, um, just more of just like chill. And the guns, the meat people are like complaining of how fast you die, and you do die really, really fast. You guys, you, you can tell from this uh, commentary that you do die really, really fast. And but I think that the guns are balanced because of that. How did that miss you? Let's watch this, guys. So let's watch this right here and see how fast you really die. Look at this. You see how fast you die right there? That's how fast you die. It's fucking. This is like some real life shit. Real life shit. I guess it's from people complaining all the Call of Duty. Like it doesn't take that many bullets to kill somebody. So I guess they made it realistic. So they made their people happy who complain. Fuck you, ballistic pants. I'm not going out there. He's gonna die, I bet. Alright. So I guess they made their fans happy. Or their Call of Duty fans happy. And it's like, yo. When you don't want you want to want to die faster, you want to kill people faster, and now everybody's complaining about that. But with uh, being a sniper and that, you have to pretty much just change around your game style and just play more defensively. I guess you can say. I really don't know what that be considered as. Just play more. Don't play aggressively. Just stay back and I guess stay on the edges of the map and at certain points, then go in the center. At least that's how that's how I've been playing Call of Duty guys so far. Enemy satcom spotted. Which is probably not a good way because I haven't hit clip yet, but we're gonna get there. See you can't you I couldn't do zoom in that fast. Bullshit. Um let's watch this guys, let's see how fast you die with this here. Let's watch. Let's watch this. You see how fast? You see how fast it's like three hit markers. What's my score now? Eight and thirteen. No, I never. I have not had a single game on this map where I do good. Um, and it really depends if you guys are watching this, cause I'm feeling comfortable with doing a live commentary right now. Last night I just couldn't get in the mood to to do one, but I wanted to upload last night. But then the render took a very long time. The render took a very long time and stuff. So, you know, you know, guys. Let's see if I can kill him. And he lagged. He lagged. He, he's not even lagging at some. He, if he kills me, if he kills me, where did he go? Oh my god! Yeah, so as I was saying, guys, this is my first game on. He even, you know, he was playing around. He didn't even try to kill me. He was playing around with me. Ah, this is horrible. This is horrible. I don't even care, guys. You guys are gonna see. You guys are gonna see my personality on my YouTube channel starting from now, from this video uploading. Cause I'm not gonna worry about being one of those um. Call of Duty players who, who, um, what am I trying to say? I'm not gonna be, I'm not, god damn it, bro, camping up there. I'm not gonna be one of those, uh, YouTubers who, who try to get the best possible gameplay for you guys during live commentaries. Because most of the time for me, that don't happen when I'm doing a live commentary. But then when I quit, all of a sudden I get like this beast gameplay, and I'm not even doing a live commentary ever. But that's just great. But uh, I'm gonna be one of those people who 
be wild world. Oh, commentary? Then yeah, I can understand getting very good gameplay for commentary. But um, I'm not gonna worry about it doing a lot of commentaries because I'm gonna show you guys my personality and how I play. And if I just have that on game, then you know, so so well, that's that that'll be good. But if I don't have that on game, then then oh well. I think this dude's behind me. He is somewhere over here. Uh, you guys seen that little uh, outline of the orange thing, like right there? That's called an oracle, and our oracle, oracle, however you want to pronounce it. I really don't have to pronounce it, but uh, pretty much what it is, it's like a, it's like an orbital VSAT, except other than showing you where they're at at the whole time, it just shows the outline of them, like through walls and stuff. And I, I really don't find it that useful because it only like shows for like two or three seconds, and it goes off, and then about thirty seconds later, it shows it again. So there's not really a bunch of use to it, but uh, it's, I guess you could say it's all right. And then watch right here at the very end, everyone we'll start doing good, and the game's gonna end. I would like to go positive, but that's not gonna happen. 16 seconds to get six kills. Get that six on screen, though. I think you could take him a kill, buddy. All right. So you guys see, I, whenever you're killing a lot of people in this game, this game is really fun. How many minutes do you have right here? About like 10 minutes somewhere around there, I'd say. Yo, watch this key kill count. Look at me, though. Getting shot from behind. I always get shot from behind. No one can ever be a man and shoot me in my face. 11 to 17. So, I uh, guess I guess I'm gonna use this gameplay. Uh, sorry for the shitty game, as you can see, but I really been playing the ejector. I got those 18 tags and stuff. So I guess uh, I'm going to back out real quick and show you guys my class up, the classes that I've been using. And i show you. So look at that. I got 101 squad points. So this right here, guys, is your uh, is what you do to select your um, the player, the player you want to play with. And you can like this, like this one right here is level 35. And that's the one I'm like that I'm gonna be playing on because I'm not gonna worry about all these right here and prestiging them and stuff. So pretty much all together, you can prestige a hundred times this game, I think. You can go up to ten prestiges, and then you have nine more players right here that you can prestige and stuff. So you can go up to a hundred prestiges, and they cost different points. You can see on the bottom right how many they cost. That little circle, like it's got three squad points right there, and over here it's like five hundred. So this right here it gives you three. Uh, loadouts automatically and then these right here cost 20 you get 25 and 30 to get these extra slots uh, but I'm not really worried about those right now until you know until I'm just getting bored of these right here but this gun right here the VKS that gun's pretty sick I enjoy using that gun as you can zoom in very fast with it uh, you don't really get a lot of hit markers with it and you don't really get a lot of hit markers in general with um, snipers in this game but uh, I'm running uh, these perks right here, you got slide of hands so I can reload faster. And this right here is where you're undetected by air support, oracle, or sentry guns. And I find that useful. And uh, this right here is pretty much like the toughness in Black Ops 2. It reduces the flinch and it helps. And whenever uh, it reduces the sway when you're aiming down in your scopes. And then, of course, this right here, quick draw so that you can uh, zoom in uh, faster. Um, specialist, uh, I guess that don't really matter. Unless you, you know, whatever. But this gun right here, guys, I found to be the best pistol in a Black Ops. I mean, Call of Duty Ghost. I haven't, I haven't used that one. Uh, that one's like a three on burst, but it's, it's, it's all right. I, I don't use it in a private match. But uh, L11, guys, you know, same, same thing, same setup. I just don't have flat hound. This one I have um radio, which you know, pretty much just says it for itself. It's, it's where. When you're sprinting, and then after you get done sprinting, your gun comes up faster. So I think it's like Dixillary, Delixillary, whatever it is in Black Ops 2. I think that's what that is. Uh, so it's pretty much the remake of Delixillary from Black Ops 2. Um, same everything except for that one perk. And then for my USR, you know, got the same junk as well. But I uh, hope you guys hope you guys enjoy the uh, enjoy the commentary at least. I know the gameplay wasn't that good, but I uh, hope if there's any suggestions from Call of Duty guys. You, videos you guys want to see maybe some campaign new series on campaign or some uh some extinction mode i haven't even played that yet uh people said that it was horrible so i'm not i haven't played it we'll waste my time to play that yet so it's up to you guys let me know in the comment section below let me go let me know if you guys are enjoying this series and if you didn't understand it when i tried to explain at the beginning of the video all you guys gotta do is check the description below and there'll be a full detailed summary essay some of all i'm all about that essay life there'll be a uh a little thing in the description telling you guys what this new series is all about. So hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, uh, 
hit the like button and also hit subscribe it really helps out a lot guys i've also hit 100 subscribers right before um call of duty ghost came out even though it's not a lot of subscribers guys it really made me feel really made me feel special um so thank you guys for watching and until the next video guys i'll see you guys later